VR is still pretty new technology, and game developers are still getting around to creating interesting and innovative games that really draw you into their worlds and make you forget about the real world you left behind the headset. There are even fewer games that turn you into a bloodthirsty psychopath with a lust for murder. What's up guys, TJFL here, and today we're going to take a look at Gorn for VR. So just a heads up here guys, I'm playing this on a Windows Mixed Reality headset, so my experience may vary to yours if you're using the Vive or Rift, but overall, this should be the same experience. Horn is set in essentially a gladiator themed environment where you step into an arena and face off against waves of foes thinking of the next Russell Crowe. My name is Gladiator. The enemies that you will face in the arena are all the same design. And they're pretty hilarious as they look like oversized Popeyes with a walk of a 70 year old drunk pensioner. Once you step foot in the arena, you must choose your weapon of choice. Salute the king and begin your onslaught. Weapons vary in this game from axes to bows, swords, and maces, which all have a different playstyle which you have to adapt to during gameplay. This is hands down one of the most detailed VR games I've ever played, the most aesthetically pleasing. Which is really saying something when it's being compared to the likes of Fallout and Skyrim. And to make matters worse for those AAA titles, this has the best melee combat I have experienced yet in a VR game. Battles are immersive and I find myself in fighting stances parrying and attacking in my living room as if I'm some veteran in the arena. The gore in this game is horrific and will most certainly turn the stomach of a light-hearted player as you go from packing limbs from bodies to using those body parts as weapons against your foe. I never thought I'd find myself re-evaluating my psyche after spending a good 5 minutes bashing the crap into the lifeless corpse of my enemy. If there is one thing I do not like about this game, it is the movement mechanics. They are downright tiring and tedious. To move in any given direction, you must first look in the direction you're looking to go, and then begin to swing your arms left and right like a fool, moving at a stuttering pace towards your enemies. I would have much preferred a locomotion mechanic, more commonly found in titles such as Farpoint, as this is more fluid and in my opinion more immersive. Given the nature of this title, it does not really have any sort of plot. It's simply a case of making your way through waves and waves of enemies. But this is the perfect way to play this game, and it's great for short bursts after a long day in work and you're looking to let off some steam. I highly recommend Gorn to anyone with a headset out there, and with that I give this title a solid 10 out of 10.